Hello ladies and gents, welcome to a new review, welcome back to the channel. Behind us is the new Dacia Sandero. Now this is the 2025 model year with some new changes we're going to check out and behind us is the top trim which is probably the best value for money because it has all the bells and whistles. The Journey trim with this beautiful green metallic color. Now without further ado, let's check it out and dive into the exterior interior details. Now here's the new Sandero in this oxide green metallic color. And boy oh boy, this is probably the best color for Dacia today. It just looks a little bit more posh, especially with this black details that you have on the car. And then with a the new uh, badge, the whole car looks so much better. And it brings in more value for money because this has all the bells and the whistles in the journey trim. Like the front and rear parking sensors, backing rear camera, even blind spot in the side mirrors, which are, by the way, black in this journey trim. Now, uh, what's inside? Inside is the 1.0 three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine producing 90 horsepower linked to five-speed manual. Unfortunately, I wish it had a six-speed manual, but you can, I believe, get that one if you go for the LPG version. Uh, front wheel drive, of course. Look at this color. Now it's sunny, it's a bit cloudy later, it just pops. So let me show you the key fob, and then we're going to mention some of the changes on the 2025 model year. Now here you can see the uh, well already familiar uh, Dacia uh, key fob, so keyless entry, or you have physical lock, unlock, unlock the cargo, and you can press to turn on the LED headlights. Those are uh, LED cold lights, the long beam and the fogs are warm, but the cold light, you know, at least the main light is cold, so it gives you a little bit better visibility at night. Now, uh, you can keep this in your pocket because when you approach the car, it unlocks, and when you leave, it locks. Let's check out the beautiful design elements. I really love the creases. There are some nice aerodynamic elements on this car, and it really pops on this color. Now, coming a little bit closer to check out the oxide green color, it just looks so beautiful on sun. And um, if you're here for the first time, I'm just going to quickly run through this. You have here Dacia signature. They've emphasized the daytime running lights in this white, complementing with the front uh, new white grill elements and the new uh, white Dacia emblem. Now, uh, Everything is in the color of the vehicle besides the parking sensors are not painted. They've saved a little bit, um, maybe didn't fit their budget. But over here you can see here unpainted plastic around the fog light and there is a little bit piano black detail down there. Now you can see the grill air intake at the bottom and the top. Now what you're going to notice 2025 model year doesn't have the radar here. It actually has, look at that. A camera on the top so uh, we're gonna talk about that in a moment it relies on the camera for emergency braking huge thanks to local Dacia Croatia for giving us the car for a review front end look looking very nice and this color really shows you all the contours of this car you can even see like on the doors the little line there just such a difference just by color thick. Now we have here a 16 inch alloys. You can get, I believe, um, either 15 or 14 inch steel wheels on the very basic trim, but in the middle and the top trim, which is this one, you get the alloys. These look, in my opinion, the best. They look like a cross or kind of reminding of the sort of the new Dacia emblem. Now, 195.55 R16 and notice we have disc brakes on the front on the rear I'm going to show you we have drum brakes because everything below 100 horsepower oh, there's a hair here, here. Um, everything below 100 horsepower has the drum brakes but uh, those last longer and trust me uh, they save you uh, money on maintenance in the long run now um, the wind is starting to pick up, hopefully it won't ruin the uh, audio. You can see the turn signals are emphasized in this kind of white, same as the front, for better visibility. Now here you can see the 
metallic black side contrasting mirror again in the journey trim and here we have the blind spot as standard in the journey trim so that's why it's probably the best value for money you can see uh, speakers in the top of the dash there should be a light sensor right there now on the top you can see the rain sensor and you can see the uh, new camera so again for emergency braking the lane assist those are the new requirements for safety of course and you can see the heaters inside so it's going to defrost in the winter there are nozzles here and there so they have three of them all together six so for washing your windshield and we have double laminated front windshield also better acoustics less noise coming inside the vehicle now uh, it's a bit cloudy so you can see the profile of the car and the color just pops let me come to the front because it looks so much better when it's a bit cloudy now it's again sun so you can uh, influence the weather black sharpened antenna complementing the black side mirrors unfortunately no tinted windows in the back the duster gets that but uh, Sandero didn't and uh, just to show you here drum brakes that I've mentioned again they last longer and save you money on the long run on the rear we have LED yeah you wish LED lights uh, we have excuse me as a joke uh, bulbs but uh, these are cheaper to replace if they burn out trust me if the LED goes out you need to replace the whole cluster so this is way cheaper but I think on the new generation is gonna uh, come after this one this is the third one if I'm not mistaken there will be LED lights because they're gonna increase the budget just like they did for the new duster now um, it is interesting because uh, so there are stepway has the black uh, plastic underneath but this one has it in the color of the vehicle so the bumper is painted but then those parking centers kind of stand out a little bit <clears throat> but it is what it is uh, we have the sendero sticker it has a rough texture when you come close and touch it which you're not gonna do but just an info there uh, white dacha signature and we have dual fog lights reverse lights are on the top now there is a backing camera here now I haven't checked the uh, license plate lights I believe these are warm you can replace them but in the new duster they're cold oh they're cold nice I like that detail there and we have a washer nozzle here for the stoplight um, well not for the stoplight uh, I have the stoplight and the washer nozzle for the rear wiper that's what I wanted to say press here to open I'm gonna back up so you can see the cargo space in perspective I'm two meters tall or 200 centimeters that's 6.6 .6 for those of you who are watching from UK or maybe some other countries I think there are only three in the world besides USA I forgot the smallest one that use Imperial system opens nice and tall now we have here to pull and notice that uh, inside it's not painted with a clear coat so it has a matte finish that really looks quite nice you have a top shelf here you can put some stuff here it can be removed if you need to take it out uh, seats knocked down 60 40 and we have 300 if I didn't forget 328 liters of cargo space when you knock down the seats 1108 and then in the compartment below here there's 78 liters of cargo space now I'm gonna type it in in case I've uh, missed it there or forgot it checking the right side we have pockets now in the right side we have a tow winch kind of a long one but it's there on both ends we have grocery hooks two of them actually look at this they added a little rubber here so this doesn't bang when you lower it that's a nice detail there and on the left side we have a light and we have a room for a fire extinguisher in this case now uh, this is not protected like this but it is what it is you can maybe order something on the Aliexpress for example uh, this can be like that so you can access the bottom you get a uh, patching kit you can probably 
option a spare wheel but it wasn't in this case and um, there is around from this point to this point around 12 fingers of height times two if you want to get centimeters and then uh, from here to here there's five fingers also so around 10 centimeters now this shelf can go underneath like that so if you want to lower that you can get some extra room or you can just put it on the top it is actually manageable with one hand but yeah there we go that's that this is how it looks when my backpack is not inside so nice and practical cargo space for this hatchback and if you take these up you can press here and then lower them down if you don't have passengers in the rear so you can see better behind yourself now this one's open from the driver position so let me just quickly run to the driver position you pull this little lever and voila so recommended 95 run or 98 of course petrol you can hang this little guy here when you're fueling look at this right now yep now i'm not sure about uh, turkish market they've changed the um dacha duster to a renault duster so i'm not sure if they're going to change this in there as well um so hi to all the people who are watching from turkey perhaps so once again a little bit closer so closing sound is in dacha level let's say um they didn't put any sound dampening material there's only one uh, gasket there so there's nothing on the outside part of the door but hey um, you can push down here to lock if you have the kit so they cannot open from the inside so you know the drill this is all hard plastic you have a speaker there pocket power window and that's it uh, the doors open nice and wide if you need to put a child seat but look at this now there's no zippers um, there are like stitches here I guess when you push in the isofix just locks in I'm not sure if this gets de-virginized because yeah, yeah that's the that, why is this stitch though I don't know okay um, well the seats feel comfier uh, in the new duster they invested a little bit more in the seats I'm not sure for this one I'm gonna tell you that in the night point of view review when I uh, actually drive this a little bit more there's a carpet there uh, view at the top you have a white excuse me white just light uh, roof liner and if you want to knock down the seat we have this silk uh, liner so it might cover this little tip pull it up this knocks down you can see the inside you can see that shelf is quite useful maybe you can put a longer umbrella there that's that let's jump inside so good feet room good knee room for a tall person there are pockets cloth seats i believe these are now probably sustainable cloth and here you can see 12 volt outlet we don't have it in the cargo space but you have it here and look at this they've added a usb-c sorry i didn't realize my camera was not pointing at the 12 volt outlet so it's right there okay um yeah the seats are nicely profiled they are supportive they are nice and soft here this is not too tall or too wide so you can potentially squeeze a third person there is no armrest and that is that you do have handles on all three sides besides the driver and let me show you the closing sound okay kind of rattles but it's not that bad could be better but you know for a doctor it's fine and headspace uh, I'm touching with my hair but actually I can well almost straighten up I'm just like missing maybe a centimeter or two but for an average person it should be fine it is uh, very windy outside I can slightly hear the wind but it's actually quite okay checking the front and let's get to the front 
I need to turn the AC on because it is quite warm in I'm gonna suffocate now it's really breezy outside so just cool myself a little bit um, not sure if I mentioned but uh, yeah keyless entry we mentioned that there is a little uh, plastic even pop here there's a physical key cylinder behind that also opens uh, nice and wide maybe slightly wider uh, there is tire pressure info here right there and yeah, uh, same hard plastic materials, bit bigger pocket here, better looking speaker. And then we have this textile, it's slightly padded. So you're treated with a little comfort on the front. You can lock the rear windows if you have kids on the back. So they all look here automatic, but I believe only the driver's side is like fully automatic, goes all the way down when you press it once and up. Um, side adjustable electronic mirrors unfortunately they do not fold but hey you have the blind spot once again that is nice we have a uh, plastic cover with white sandero it looks quite nice and then you have the carpets the same with contrast white stitching so looking very decent you can see the rubber paddles this is i believe a fuse box so this is not a compartment uh your light height switch is there now this uh, I believe is like for the safeties you can like disengage or engage uh, like the settings for the safety so maybe you can create a profile we're gonna see I haven't actually checked that but you can maybe disable the annoying speed limit change uh, warnings uh, okay uh, manual seats you know this uh, up and down push up to tilt the seat and uh, push this up to slide back and forward there is a speaker and yeah uh bolsters kind of small bigger here i don't know this feels a bit better not sure if they've changed the seats like in the new duster it's quite possible because the duster uses like a dense phone and then a soft foam to increase the comfort because the seats were the only perhaps downside of this car they were quite painful here after like short journey and then in the new duster they've kind of improved it but uh when they've proved that they improve it through the production on all models because they use the same seats so hopefully this has been changed again come to the day review uh excuse me night point of review for that info and over here you can see the top uh this is manual adjustment for the steering column now let me close this yeah, closing sound, so I would say standard gotcha sound. Yeah, slight like rattles, car shakes a little bit. You know, but it's a light car, so that's why it shakes. Most of the cars do that. I'm going to switch to wide lens. So you can see there will be a point of view driving, day point of view driving with no talking. And now I'm going to switch on the petrol. So let me just mute this sound for a moment. And blind spot alert on okay now let me just test if this is fully automatic no it's not see this one yeah like i've said okay now let's try to hear the petrol a little bit i'm going to lower this fan speed let me open the doors yeah uh, sorry, I didn't zoom in, but yeah, you can hear the petrol quite nice. It's like, it has this purry sound. Yeah, it's a nice uh, sound for the three cylinder. Okay, uh, again, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit. Now, uh, let's focus on the uh, while steering a little quickly. You all saw this new signature here. Uh, you have the cruise control settings, you have the uh, trip computer info here, and a digital speedo voice commands and uh, well you can switch here to coolant so use these arrows let me just come closer so uh, this flashes when I back up a little bit but in person it does not flash so digital speedo coolant tire pressure and that is that and this one here have average range 
current consumption average i haven't reset it i haven't tested the car so far so that's not my average but it is what you're getting currently all the car was idling when i was filming the b-roll so uh, come to a night review for more info uh, keep your lights on automatic don't drive like this at night everything is illuminated here but your lights are not on very dangerous uh, you have the fog light control there and your wipers control there um, this is padded same as this uh, I like the fact this is white matches uh, the textile then this is hard plastic you already know that um, you have this one you can change does extend has rubberized here uh, holder so it doesn't scratch your phone you have a USB A and check this out you have a USB C uh, you saw one on the back as well so that is nice and um, you all know these so lock hazards auto start stuff off passenger airbag info uh, and <clears throat> all the seat belts is in there you saw that eco probably never gonna use that and you have the nice AC controls here fan speed press for automatic you can change the temperature um, and if you switch this one like this you switch off the AC uh, this is the AC button you can turn it off and it just recirculates the air you can choose manually the air direction uh, and front rear defrost and closed air recirculation so in the winter you should open uh, like now it's open this is closed so in the summer when you want the air to get cooler faster you turn this on in the winter you turn it on so the outside air comes inside so you don't get condensation on your front windshield but you should be fine if you just press on the automatic the car will do everything for you uh, yeah okay and uh, we have the start stop engine and of course you know this one this is for source uh, modes volume press and phone calls and mute gonna come back to the infotainment just to wrap it here we have a five-speed manual it's a bit rough the first gear is a bit rough to get in there but uh, up for uh, reverse then you get the backing camera it's a bit blurry but serves its purpose again I wish there was a six-speed manual this is a five-speed manual but it is what it is you get a electronic parking brake um, and there are two cup holders different sizes this is slightly padded uh, you have to press here to open it up there's a little compartment for maybe some personal stuff uh, the seat here doesn't have the isofix so only on the rear I showed you that and yeah the seats feel slightly better I think they've increased the, f the you know the sponging and the foam underneath I'm looking forward if they did that Okay, for the Croatian audience, spec sheet. And the uh, what we have here is 17,000 euros, again, for the journey trim, top trim, uh, starting price. You have here navigation, and uh, this includes the uh, USB-C, Apple and Android uh, connection, 400 euros, and then there is um, Comfort package says here automatic parking brake and um, yeah this armrest that includes uh, comfort package 390 euros and we have the oxide green metallic color 560 euros which I think it's worth it it just looks great it's not too expensive so altogether including taxes in Croatia which is 25% value added tax and there's a CO2 tax, uh, which is a bit higher, but uh, yeah, this car is Euro 7, if I'm not mistaken, so that should be okay. Uh, 18,350 is total price, uh, and then you have, you know, registration price uh, and technical. Actually, no, no technical for two years for the new cars, but you have the registration, and that's it, plus insurance, of course. Um, yeah. Um, gonna come to the infotainment uh, and then I'm going to actually no let's just wrap this one 
up on the top you have uh, the nice view behind you and then during the day this doesn't really <clears throat> show anything but actually <clears throat> actually it does look at this bright dark you can still see behind yourself but it's darkened so that is that and then since they added a camera here it has a really long uh, angle at the bottom they had to add this plastic it's a bit of a blind spot for traffic lights otherwise not that bad but the a pillars are a bit obstructive as well light warm lights in the interior now there's only a light on the front nothing on the rear you have the emergency call this is a uh, temperature sensor and that's that you have a little mic there for bluetooth calls documents holder and uh, privacy mirror now this does not extend but also covers almost everything so that's fine in my book that is that um i haven't mentioned but yeah you have the classical gauges um i don't think sundera is going to be available as a hybrid i haven't checked the spec but uh, you don't get the digital cockpit and then again the new generation will definitely get the digital cockpit and the new infotainment from the duster um but that will raise the price a little bit so you know uh, this is still a great value for money i'm just gonna run through the infotainment quickly um let me show you the radio okay let me see here um no it's not a good look control. yeah basic speakers decent i'd say uh, you have different radio stations you have here options um that is that uh, vehicle info you have the driving here you have the uh, trip report fuel consumption eco uh, coach you have the <coughs> active braking fetish detection warning blind spot over speed so this is the one you need to turn off every time you drive and lane assist settings let me see here so lane keeping assist settings ah, okay dash lane intervention warning and the driver so you have a lane assist awesome in blind spot what else can you want wow that's see just value for money access you can see all of those pause and read park assist rear view camera obstacle detection so you can change the parking sensor sound I mean, to this this or this yeah, uh, nice and easy infotainment. Um, and you can connect your smartphone. There are settings here uh, volume, speed, sound. Or all of those. There's like um, loudness. There's like why you want this bass, middle, treble. Let me just try that again. Yeah, it sounds a bit better when you adjust uh, some stuff display options there is a uh, day theme but that's only if you get to the home menu i believe no well, that's odd maybe that's for the navigation oh yeah okay so is it though let me just see here um okay oh sorry settings automatic No, this goes away. Oh, not nothing. In some cars, there was just like when you flip to two lights on, it would just go to the night theme. There is a night theme. Um, phone, you can connect it to your Bluetooth, but uh, I didn't do that, and that's pretty much it. You have the navigation that I showed you, um, and there's like a shortcut for the. Uh, for the radio station and back to the main menu here for the navigation <coughs> um that's that i'm not going to go through this one i already covered that in some other dacha models and let me just see here settings devices okay you can see that and the system info that is that that's the whole infotainment 
I'm gonna cut in Apple CarPlay and we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, for the first time, you need to connect the uh, USB-C and then it works uh, automatically. Now I'm recording with my iPhone, so this is a bit laggy. When I stop recording, this is nice and fluid, but this is the Apple CarPlay. And if you wanna go home, press it there. Now, when you are connected to Apple CarPlay, when you exit it, you have it here as a shortcut. Now there's also a little option here to press here, then this goes black, so this is not to, you know, have full brightness going towards your kids in the back if they're sleeping. So you can press then go back to this, although you can also lower the brightness of the screen, of course. And it's gonna stop my recording, but if I press here, it's going to show you the date, time, and outside time. So uh, headspace, I didn't show that, plenty of headroom on the front. Now let me just see what this button does. Press again for my safety person. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can see here it's off and then everything is on. So you can create a personal profile for the car settings, driver assistance. Okay, that's weird maybe. There's not a profile, but again, then you can maybe just turn everything off and it will uh, turn off the uh, speed limit warning there. Okay, um, switch it off. Let's get out, show you the what's underneath the bonnet and wrap up the video. Uh, do come for a night review. It's going to be a separate video. Uh, yeah, you get this little sound when you lock the car or when you exit the car and you didn't switch off the uh, engine. So it's going to start beeping to let you know that you forgot it. Um, there it is. Three-cylinder turbocharged petrol. Again, 1.0 liter. And uh, there's a big sign not to press wash. And washer fluid is there so yeah there's another one here don't pressure wash um, yeah in the middle push up like actually just a little bit right of the badge center is the little lever you just push it up and take it up you have to use the little leg again great value for money uh, beautiful looking in this green color the new Sendero. Now, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, please share it on Dacia forums because it might help other people who are looking at the car. Also, give this video a like, helps you move the algorithm, and type your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about the new Sendero? I think this is a great value for money when you look at the today's car prices because this is now very well equipped. And thank you all who have subscribed because we've passed 100,000 subscribers recently and uh, thank you for the big support hope to see you in the next video stay safe until then bye